yo yo what's going on y'all so i have a revelation coming from joel chapter 2 verses 1 through 3 and it's entitled the day of the lord blow the trumpet in zion sound the alarm on my holy mountain let all who dwell in the land tremble for the day of the lord is coming yes it is near a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness, like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mount and mighty. Their like has not been from old, nor will it be after them, even to the years of distant generations. Before them a fire devours, and after them a fire enkindles, like the garden of Eden in the land before them, and after them a desert waste, and from them and from them, there is no escape. So this is the revelation that the father gave to me um, for this. There is someone that the Lord has warned to get away from you or to stay away from you. Or maybe he has warned you to get away from this person or to stay away from this person. However, the Lord says, if he comes and you are still there, it's going to be a problem. The father does not want you with this person or around this person or anyone who is like this person or anyone who is from this person's bloodline from this person's generation okay the person does not want you around this person and he does not want you around their family this is something that he already has told you because he said if i come and you are still there then it's going to be a problem you may not know who this person is that the father is talking about but this person knows so if the father didn't tell you to stay away from this person then he told that person to stay away from you okay so if you don't know then that person knows but if you do know then the father says if he come back and you still with the person it's going to be a problem if you don't know then it's for the other person OK, the father says if to this person, if I come back and you still around my daughter, or if I come back and you still around this place that I told you not to be in or you still in this place, I told you not to be in you still around these family, it's going to be a problem. OK. And the reason why the father says it's going to be a problem is in verse three before them, a foul before them, a foul. Why can't I say it, a foul word. before them, a fire devours and after them a flame and kindles so what this father is saying is this person will destroy anything that is in their path anything that is in front of them they will destroy but whatever comes after them you will be aroused and inspired with emotion by okay so the father is saying if you keep this person around you or in your path you will be destroyed by this person it is only after this person that the fire will be enkindled and that means it is only after this person that you will be aroused with inspired aroused or inspired with emotion but with this person you will be destroyed it says like the garden of eden is the land before them you are the garden of eden 333 you are the garden of eden that's before them you are beautiful you are peaceful you are refreshing but if you allow this person to come back into your garden they will destroy it they will destroy it and it, it says after them a as the desert a desert waste and from them there is no escape so if you allow this person to come back or come in while you are in your garden or come back to you after you have came out of the garden because you are a garden to this person. You are a garden to this person. You are something else that they can't find anywhere else. If they can look all they want, they'll never be able to find a garden like you. You are beautiful, you are peaceful, and you are refreshing. And they will never find anything else or anyone else like you. But the father is saying, if you allow this person back, they will destroy your garden. And you will have no way to escape from them. The father gave me the number 1018.
to act as umpire. A place in Judah. Michael 111. Pass by naked in shame, you will live in Shafir. Those who live in Zainan will not come out. Bazel is in mourning. It is no it no longer protects you. So the revelation that the Father is given from this um, number 1018 in the scriptures is the Father wants you to make the call. He wants you to make the decision. Are you going to allow this person to come back into your garden? The decision is yours. The father says you make the call. You act as the umpire. You make the call. Micah 11. There will be some who will let this person come back. And there will be some who will not allow this person to come back. However, if you let this person come, you will be in mourning for your house will have no support because God said no. So if you allow this person to come back, which some of you will, the father says you will be in mourning because your house will have no support because he told you no. And you made the decision and you made the call to allow this person to come back anyway. But he says, if you do that, you will be in mourning because he will not support what you are building. 7-Eleven. He will not support what you are building with your own hands because the father said no. He said anything that's in this person's path, they will destroy it. The father said you are someone who is beautiful, peaceful, and and refreshing you have a spiritual refreshment about yourself the father says this person will come in and destroy everything with their fire and there will be no way for you to escape this person because you made a decision to let this person into your enclosed garden into your peace into your spiritual refreshment after the Father has told you no. And this is coming from Joel chapter 2, verses 1 through, th 1 through 3, the day of the Lord. The Father says, I blow my trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble. The Father says, if he told you to get away from his daughter or his son, then you and if he come and you still there, it's gonna be a problem. The father has already separated you from somebody. The father has told somebody to separate from you to, to leave you alone, and he has put you in separation. He has put you in isolation. He has protected you from this person. The father says, now here it is up to you. It is your decision to make the final call, to make the final decision if you're gonna allow this person to come back into your life or not. That decision is yours. Some will, some won't. But if you allow for this person to come back, you will be in the morning because the father is not going to support this house that you are trying to build. And that is the message. All right, y'all. Peace.